Greetings and thank you for watching this online presentation for the 2021 virtual MOA meeting. My name is Braden Lineman and I'm an undergraduate student studying agroecology in the Sustainable Food and Bioenergy Systems Program here at MSU. Today I will be sharing my capstone research project that I worked on with Dr. Bruce Maxwell. The project is part of a multifaceted research experience where MSU students and Blackfeet Tribal Community College students work together to study the effects of bison reintroduction on the ecosystem and the environmental landscape. Bison are considered ecosystem engineers due to the way they interact with their natural environment. Bison reintroduction presents an excellent opportunity to learn about large herbivore effects on their native ecosystems. Through studying and monitoring bison interactions with their ecosystems, land managers can gain effective information about how to produce meat sustainably and efficiently by merging food system production and ecological knowledge. One of the ways we are modeling these relationships is through species distribution models or SDMs. SDMs are models that we use environmental information to predict where a species will exist. This is part of the project that I have worked on for the past two years surveying vegetation communities and creating vegetation SDMs. My goal and outcome from the summer involved creating a field study design, surveying vegetation communities and incorporating that data into species distribution models. In this study, we are using generalized linear modeling to create our SDMs using NDVI data, as well as slope, elevation, aspect and Euclidean distance from road as environmental predictor variables. Vegetation sampling was conducted on stratified, randomly sampled transects. Each transect was 400 meters long, consisting of consecutive 10 by 10 meter grids that make up singular data frames. Using GIS and GPS technologies, students maintained georeference data that were then used to map spatial and temporal trends. Vegetation and species of interest were determined through site evaluation and consulting with land managers, tribal elders, and community members. We came up with 16 species divided into groups of common or rare native species, invasive or toxic species, and bison forage species. With remotely sensed data, most of our environmental predictors can just be downloaded from open source online data repositories. I obtained those digital elevation model derived sources, such as slope elevation and aspect, as well as derived NDVI from Google Earth Engine or USGS online databases. I then used CRAN R Studio software to plug the data into a generalized linear model and created an STM for each of our species of interest. Here we see two of those SDMs. On the left, fridged sagewort, which is Artemisia frigida, and on the right, sink foil shrub, which is Potentilla fruticosa. Below them, you will see their summary statistics in a table. These tables show their p values, which signifies the significance of the relationship between each of the variables and the predicted outcome, aka vegetation distribution. Here we see the other two SDMs included in this poster, below which are, again, their summary statistics within the table. Each of those summary statistics shows an asterisk next to the p-value. However, many of those asterisks indicates how significant the result. One meaning somewhat significant and three meaning highly significant. Several models, like the one for Artemisia frigida, for example, we see very high covariate coefficients with highly significant relationships to species distribution. This indicates that our model accurately reflects what's driving that species distribution. There are many sources of error in some of these, however, such as the NDVI data layer causing the roadways to appear ideal habitat. From this summer, 
Extreme drought and heat cause many abnormalities in vegetation physiology, making the detection of certain species virtually impossible. And due to wildfire conditions, we were unable to reach one of our pastures as it required extensive off-road vehicle travel. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my presentation. Take care and enjoy my classmates' presentations. <laughs>